if you're looking for a way to kick off the holiday weekend, we have a place that offers street food bursting with flavor. Here you can find colorful tropical drinks and unique burgers, and Michelle Oliver takes us to Ann Arbor to dine in the D, well, in the A squared, at Frida Padito's. Frida Petitos. It's a fun name for a fun place, but what does it mean? What's a Frida and what is a Petito? So a Frida traditionally is a Cuban style burger made with chorizo and a soft egg bun with shoestring fries inside, just under the top bun. And Petitos are tropical milkshakes. That's the owner, Eve Aronoff Fernandez and Frida Petito's has been a dream of hers for quite a while. So I always wanted to open up Frida Petito's even before I opened our first restaurant, Eve, because I spent a lot of time throughout my childhood visiting my grandmother in Miami, and I just really fell in love with the culture and the ingredients and just the whole spirit. The domino she puts on every table is also a part of that happy memory. The restaurant's design is very minimalistic, with white walls and communal tables. People always say it's so white, and it's basically like before we open, and then as soon as we open, it's just full of like people and music and the food and the spices, and that's kind of like the strap. is like everything's white, but then it all comes together. Not only is her food full of color, but it's packed with flavor. Eve combines her fine dining pedigree and her laid back attitude to create the menu. So it's like the standards and attention to detail of the like very formal places I've worked. And then in that like anything goes, just super fun environment from selling hot dogs outside Fenway Park that I did throughout college. So let's cook up one of their most popular dishes, the chorizo frita. And we're going to make it loco. Start with the chorizo patty. For those that don't know, chorizo is kind of like a spicy sausage. Uh, yeah, a spicy ground pork. We also crack an egg onto the grill. And so loco, that that phrase just means everything is on this. Everything is on it. Yeah, we're gonna put that uh, cilantro lime salsa, avocado spread, and uh, tropical coleslaw. Next, we butter and toast the brioche bun, which is their own recipe. And we're gonna drop some shoestring fries in the fryer. You, I take it you cut these all in house. If you see we this, do, there's like racks of fries right we there. Do, <laughs> we uh, soak them for uh, 17 hours twice. Oh, what does the soaking do? It makes it soft on the inside but crispy on the outside. That's like the perfect fry. Yeah. He has the recipe <laughs> for the perfect fry. As the chorizo burger continues to cook, we add a sweet chili mayo, an avocado spread, and a tropical coleslaw to the bun. Now, back to that burger. And then we're going to do some uh, monster cheese on it. Once the cheese is nice and melty, we put it all together with some cilantro lime salsa. Do you spend like the first month of chef school learning how to do that? Because like I've tried it and they go all yeah, over the place. Yeah, it's just, you gotta be quick at it. A handful of fries and the egg finishes the dish. Like you don't have to compromise the standards to be able to serve something that's still like quick, delicious, we hope. Joining us in studio is PJ Johnson, the general manager of Frita Batidos. Thank you for being here. No problem. So Jason and I were already like checking out the food. This is a wonderful spread. Tell us what you Thank brought you. in. So we bought a little bit of everything from our menu. Um, our staple are the Fritas, the Cuban inspired uh, sandwiches. Traditionally they're on a soft egg brioche bun with a handful of shoestring fries and a chorizo patty. But we have all of Eve's um, inspired dishes. So we have right here the fish Frita. Oh, this is fish? This man. fish. Uh, right here we have the chicken frita. This one is the beef frita, which we serve at the restaurant medium rare, to, which to us is a just warm, deep mm -hmm. rosy red center. Um, we have an aromatic pulled pork sandwich. Which one? This one? Pulled pork. Yes. Pulled pork. Yeah. Pull pork. And it's topped with uh, tropical slaw. Has fresh mango, jicama root in it, and cilantro. Oof. So it's not your traditional coleslaw. Um, right here, this is the chorizo frita, uh, loco. This is the one you guys made in the piece, right? Yes, it is. Yes. So it has our avocado spread, our cilantro lime salsa, uh, mustard cheese, sunny side up egg, um, topped with um, sunny uh, and french fries, I'm sorry. Okay, now I know you're gonna talk about this next sandwich, but mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, what is this? This is like a drink in a bag? Yes, it is. What so is it? It is our ginger lime juice. 
It's all you. Try, okay. Don't mind if I do. May I, can I try yeah, it? Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. You can go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> While she's doing that, what's doing, up right here? Going. Okay. So these are potatoes, our tropical milkshakes. Um, right here we have passion fruit. Okay. Right here we have coconut. Coconut is our most popular flavor. And then what's over there? And the last one is the chocolate espanol. It's made with three different types of chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Chocolate on chocolate. That's Jason right there. Try that right there. That's, that's him right <laughs> there. That was white chocolate. So. He's white chocolate. <laughs> 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 okay. What do we have over here? Over here, we have um, our crisp plantains, and they come with a cilantro lime salsa and avocado spread, which we make in-house multiple times a day. Um, right here, we have our best snack ever. It's layers of uh, coconut ginger rice, slow-cooked black beans, mm. mustard cheese, and cilantro lime salsa. Coconut ginger rice. Yes, that coconut ginger amazing. rice. It is okay. amazing. Right here is our garlic cilantro fries. Um, I may have tried a few of these, <laughs> and they may be very delicious. Okay. And then we have our twice fried plantains here. So just the ripe plantains tossed in garlic cilantro butter just with a better. sweet chili mayo. And now, we cannot overlook this mm. incredible amount of deliciousness right here. Kevin, can we get a shot of this? This is your churros. Churros, churros espanol. Look at that. So I think a lot of times when people think churros, they think of the thin, crispy mm -hmm. kind that you get. I, I usually get at a Mexican bakery, mm -hmm. and you've got the dipping chocolate yes. to go with it. These are just like a thicker donut version, right? Yes. Okay. This is fantastic. This is one I of the better it. milkshakes I've ever had. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So remind us where you're located. We are located on 117 West Washington Street in Ann Arbor. All right, thank you so much. And if you okay. want to try out Frida Batidos, we are giving away five $25 gift cards. Five? Five $25 gift cards for your chance to win. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. And think about it like this. With a lot of people out of town on holiday, you have a better statistical chance of winning one of these gift mm -hmm. cards if you go. All you got to do is go to App 4, Live in the D. It's right down there, bottom of the screen. And uh, drop us a comment while you're there as well. And while you're there, we've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places that we've covered, get suggestions on places to eat out, and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we would love to have you, so just go ahead and sign up and join. And I have to say that this ginger lemonade is everything. It's 